Well, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good day, good day, good day. Ladies and gentlemen, well, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It is time for another bicycle ride where we get fit together and we share ideas. Okay? Hope your fitness journey is going well. Hope the path is smooth. Hope you're overcoming all the barriers in your workout routine. So today we're going to be talking about a simple idea, which is that generosity is a superpower. Generosity is a superpower, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm going to struggle through to articulate this. And let's start by talking about the domain in which we reside. Let's concretize the concept here. The concept is this. The domain is this. That is that coming from a position of fear, desperation, and scarcity does not get you what you want. Okay? I think it even says in the Bible that to those who have, more shall be given. And to those who do not have, the little that they do have will be taken away from them. In other words, people give to those whom demonstrate that they do not need it. You want to get a loan at the bank? Well, the bank will give you a loan if you can demonstrate that you don't need the loan. <laughs> right? If you can demonstrate that you have collateral and you can pay the loan back, then they'll give you the loan. Otherwise, no loan for you. You're trying to get her attention. You're trying to get his attention. Okay? All right, trying to talk to the girl. Well, if you're coming from a position of desperation and fear and slavishness, you're not going to get her attention. Okay? She's going to run far away from you. We know this. This is true. Another arena where this applies is in sales. Salesmen know. We call it commission breath. <laughs> when you're desperate for your commission, and you're talking to the client because you got to make that commission this month, chances are you're not going to make that sale because they can smell commission breath on you. Commission breath is desperation, <clears throat> scarcity mindset, and fear. Fear does not work. Fear is the opposite of mastery. Fear is the opposite of mastery, and mastery needs to be demonstrated in order for you to get anything is the way the system works the system gives to masters and it takes away from slaves so what does this have to do with money what does this have to do with money because the generosity being a superpower has to do with money here so the idea is this we have a fear of giving money away we also have a fear of receiving money this fear, okay, these seemingly disparate fears are two sides of the same coin, okay? These are basically two sides of the same coin. And that is the basic argument being made here, is that the fear of giving and the fear of receiving are two sides of the same coin now the giving part is the part where we can take action though we can take action vis-a-vis -vis the giving part in order to get ourselves of the scarcity mindset okay <laughs> get ourselves out of the desperation mindset and get into the mastery just like we were trying to get the attention of the girl now we're trying to get attention of money and if we're desperate we're not gonna get it if we're fearful we're not gonna get it if we're in a position of scarcity and of slavishness, we're not going to get it. So give, that's the idea. Give until it scares you. When you buy that cup of coffee, go ahead. Throw in an amount that will scare you into the tip jar. What is that amount? It will be different for different people, right? Some people, it will be $20. Whew. You bought a $5 cup of coffee and you're going to throw in $20 into the tip jar. Okay? A $5 cup
cup of coffee and you're gonna throw in $20 into the tip jar. And now that can be very scary. It can be very, very scary. Okay? For some people it's $100, okay? But well, next time you're at the restaurant, go ahead and increase your tip from 10% to 20% to 50%. Increase it till you get fearful. That's the idea. Because you want to push past that fear. Because that represents your current threshold of fear and of desperation and of scarcity mindset. And you want to get past that threshold. It's like working out. It's like training your muscle. If you lift up 50 pounds, your muscles will rest and recover and be ready to lift up 75 pounds. And then you train with 75 pounds. It will rest and recover and be ready to lift up 100 pounds and so on and so on. This is how biological systems learn and grow. Same thing here. The threshold of your fear and scarcity mindset needs to be pushed. It needs to be pushed. So basically, you lift up the fear of giving a $100 tip. And next time, you're gonna be ready to either give or receive $200. Because again, the fear of giving and the fear of give, receiving, these emotional hangups are two sides of the same coin. They are two sides of the same coin. So, you'll be able to wrestle down and push your threshold and raise the bar for what you think you deserve. And you're going to be able to take certain kinds of actions, okay? You're going to be able to take certain kinds of actions and certain kinds of risks that will allow you to get more. And you're going to be literally washing away that fear. That fear that you feel when you give that tip, that fear is getting washed away. You wash away the fear at the $20 level. Now you're ready to wash away the fear at the $50 level and so on and so forth, right? So... Again, the basic idea is this. The basic idea is this. The world gives to those who demonstrate mastery. Mastery is the opposite of scarcity. Mastery is the opposite of desperation. Mastery is the opposite of fear. We have hangups and fears about money what we want to do therefore is use the power of giving to exercise and exorcise that fear away make sense so far we want to use the power of giving to get rid of the fear and when you get rid of the fear of giving you're gonna feel deserving and you're gonna get away whatever psychological hangups you have because people have a fear of getting money because they're scared of losing it and since they're scared of losing the money they might as well not go get it we do a lot of psychological gymnastics vis-a-vis -vis money and that's why a lot of times we find it hard to get the money because we don't even really think we deserve it thank you because we don't really think that we deserve it that's one thing And the reason we don't think we deserve it is because we are afraid. Because we're coming from a place of scarcity. Because we're coming from a place of desperation. So, go ahead and tip. Go ahead and call your favorite charity and give until it scares you. And that level of fear, okay, is where you're currently, where currently your threshold is. Where currently you need to push past. Again, just like muscle training. You need to push past that level and wash that stink of fear away from you. Because it stinks, okay? And it, it, it stinks to you and it stinks to the world. You're going to block yourself from getting money. People are not going to give you money either, as we demonstrated earlier with the commission breath concept. You don't close deals from desperation. 
You're not going to get her number from desperation. You're not going to get a loan from desperation. You get it from a point of mastery. Okay? Which is the opposite of fear, desperation, and scarcity. You get it from a position of mastery, which is the opposite of fear, desperation, and scarcity. You get it from a point of view of abundance. And what more des a demonstration of abundance than giving, giving freely, being very, very generous. Okay, let me know what you guys think about this, ladies and gentlemen. So it's a simple concept. The idea is there is a fear of giving and a fear of receiving. These are emotional hangups about money coming from a scarcity mindset point of view. And you want to get away from that because <laughs> uh, the more scarcity mindset you have, the less you actually will have, the less people will give to you, the less you think you deserve, the less risks you take in order to deserve it, and so on and so forth. You have a superpower on the giving side of the ledger, being that you can go ahead and give until it scares you. And that rep represents your current threshold of strength, your current threshold of mastery. And you want to continue to push that, continue to scare yourself, continue to give until it scares you. Give $20, give $50, give $100. Oh shit, give $1,000, all right? Really scare yourself. Okay, and watch what happens. Okay, so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me this beautiful, beautiful Bay Area morning for my routine bicycle ride. And let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much. Bye.